What's up guys? I thought I'd do an update on the car. Ooh. So in this box I have my test pipes that I can't put in because we got like me and my dad we went to the Fort Bragg car care place. We got three of the bolts didn't know not three. Two of the bolts out and then the demon bolt we stripped. So it's currently stripped, uh and it's, it's I really I can't get it out. I mean I hacksawed it to where I can fit a screwdriver. Um but it's just really tight so we got this heater thing coming in because i don't want to use a blowtorch on it because i don't want to catch the car on fire because the blowtorch is like really dangerous it's kind of how i i screwed up the bumper on my mustang because i was using a blowtorch to try to get the to heat up the the uh plastic to fit the to fit the i just hit the mirror to fit the uh exhaust and then the whole thing caught on fire and i didn't get a new bumper i was just cheap and i i taped it up uh, so I don't want to use the bow torch, and, like, if we can't get them out, it's no big deal, uh, it's a fairly new car, it's only 10 years old, so if it gets to be, like, a 20-year-old car, then probably the cats will go out and everything, uh, but I just did an oil change, I think, a month ago, it's got, like, synthetic, uh, oil, and, and I did a transmission oil change over the summer, I got new spark plugs, so, like, slowly... Like, the Mustang, I had to, like, put it back together. And then this car, I had to put it back together somewhat. Because it wasn't the greatest. Uh, uh, I got it really cheap, and then the fuel pump went out. So, I, like, I thought I was going to save a lot of money on a Z. Uh, because I got, like, the cheapest one I could find. I mean, I got this car for the price of a 350 So, what 350s are going for... I got this car for the price of that. It's just this car got to be the regular value of a 370Z when the fuel pump went out. And everybody, like, I tell them, I was like, oh, yeah, I have a 370Z. I'm like, oh, cool. And then I was like, yeah, we got it. And then two weeks later, fuel pumping out. Uh, but if we can't get that bolt out, we got, like, this heat uh, thing coming towards, like, a heat gun. And it pushes heat into the bolt, like, externally instead of instead of using a instead of using like a blowtorch because blowtorch is really dangerous we have that coming just hit the cheap exhaust tip so if we heat that bolt up we might be able to take it out uh, with the heat extractor thing because I'm not using a blowtorch because I about caught my whole mustang on fire uh, when I when I was trying to get the exhaust to fit because it's it shouldn't have GT mufflers It should just have one muffler and Put in the GT mufflers. They didn't fit right because the car is supposed to be a single exhaust uh, From factory, but I, I had to get mufflers so it'd pass inspection So but that's the Mustang. It's I might come back and put a V8 I'd, I'd love to put a V8 in it like a LS even like I wouldn't care as long as it's a V8, <laughs> like Chevy motor, I don't care, as long as it's a V8, uh, so hopefully we'll be able to get that heat extractor, heat up the bolt, and I cut, uh, I used the hacksaw to cut into it to get a screwdriver to fit, so a screwdriver will fit, it's just, um, it's, it needs to be freed up, I'll stop walking around, it just needs to be freed up, so, uh, with the heat extractor, so we can, use the screwdriver to pull it out so that might work but if the car starts if i can't put in the test pipes right now i'm not worried about it because unless this car gets really old and the cats start going out then you have to worry about changing them out and i got test pipes so i'll probably put test pipes uh but that's it it's just those demon bolts are really hard and then on the driver's side is right next to the steering rack column so it's really hard to get to i wish they could just put the bolts on the other side to where you're able to get at um like on the exhaust side not on the engine side because it's on the engine side you can't get on you you can't get them get on them but then i got a 35 mil spacer for the rear i could have got a 38 and the 38 would probably be as good as fitment is this the only reason why i didn't go for the 38 um it's because that's like a that's like basically a 40 mil spacer because that's how like wide these are in the back and 38 it's like two more millimeters and i know i have extended studs i could have ran it but i just i don't feel safe 
and I've had that front fender come off because I didn't run the right spacer setup. Because whenever you get spacers, you have to get extended studs. No matter if they're good Z1 spacers like this. These are the old ones from the rear. Or if they're cheap EB spacers. Always get extended studs. Don't run your regular studs. But I could have got a 38. I don't want to because 38 is like basically a 40 mil spacer. And that's just really too wide. I'm happy with the 35. It's not like perfect, but like... If I put my hand here on the tire, it touches the fender. So it's better than the 25 because the 25 in the rear, it didn't look that good. Um, so this and this is good enough for me. So it's my car. I can do what I want with it. I mean, look how many stickers I have on this thing. Uh, I have a million stickers. But like that's from that's from going to a drag strip event and I still haven't taken it off. So it's my car. I, I like how that's how I like it. But I, I probably won't be posting a lot in 2020 uh, because I'm going in the Army. I already swore in. I swore in, like, last April. Uh, I, I swore in to work on uh, Blackhawks. I'll be an av avionics mechanic uh, because I want to be a warrant officer because warrant officers are the only branch in the Army that they let uh, fly. Basically enlisted, you do have to have, like, some college behind you. But it's, if you have a 110 GT score and you pass the flight test, uh, you can go to flight school. So I want to try to do that. But if it doesn't work out and I'm just avionics working on helicopters, I'd be happy. That'd be good. That'd be I'd be happy with that. I just graduated early. I graduated from high school, and then yeah. But my pre-cal class, I don't know how I passed that, but luckily I did. Uh, uh, but that, but my dad, he worked on Apaches for like, he for he worked on Apaches for 25 years. Um, so hopefully, so I'll be working on these, and then, but if you can work on a black hockey, you can probably work on what's up, uh, Lakota. I think Lakota. I think they got rid of these. Probably messed up the name. Um, but if you can work on a black hockey, you can probably work on an Apache. Uh, and then like I could also get out and work on any avionics with airplanes not those old airplanes but like a10 right there so that's just a little life update and update on the car i, I love this car i'm it's like I, I didn't think i'd be able to get one at my age and everything uh but i love this car so hopefully we'll boost it soon uh put a pro charger on it nismo swap all that nismo wing uh, and yeah, I, I have I don't have a manual. I have automatic car. Oh, this is turning into an eight-minute video. It's it's automatic, so yeah, don't give me crap. The Mustang's manual, so I do know how to drive manual. It's just this is this is automatic because it was the cheapest thing I could find. But paint-wise, my paint is is really good. <laughs> when I first got there's some minor spots to it um that that because of its age i can't really do anything about but compared to when i first got it it looks like it looks really good because compared to when i first got it it was really bad i need tint um so if i got some more if i got if i tinted the windows they would look better but i'm sorry for walking back and forth but that's just a little life update and everything about the car. And I just wanted to get you updated. If I do put those uh, test pipes in and we can get that bolt out, uh, that would be great. But if it doesn't happen, it's no big deal. Unless the car, like I said, gets old and then you, the cats start going out. And then you have to change them out. Which then would probably just hacksaw it off. Or <laughs> no, just have a... No, that's when we get the turbo kit, and then the turbo kit comes out the side right here, and then we don't have any more exhaust. So that's what we'll probably do. <laughs> anyway, that's just what I wanted to make a quick video for, and my garage is echoing. So I know I only have 33 subscribers on this car channel, but my uh, my RC channel is doing really well uh, because I have I have a million view video on that. It's basically my name, Russell Carrington, and so my RC channel is doing pretty good. But I want to, I want to get my car channel better because I've been doing more car, uh, car stuff than flying. This is like my only plane, uh, plane I fly right now. It's like a, it's a little small timber. Uh, and then there's like, there's my first like 3D airplane back there, a Sukhoi. But our garage is a mess. 
we need to clean up this side so we can fit a brand new Mustang. <laughs> yeah, this is my dad's plane, and we, we wrecked it because we were like trying to like drop a water bottle, I think. I don't know, we got, we got bored, and I need to fix it. But that's the update on everything. If you stayed this long in the video, shout outs to you. And this video is probably going to get zero views because my car channel sucks, but I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video hopefully it will be installing test pipes it probably won't though <laughs> and there's a glare hey. all right guys